Finding hot narratives in crypto is one of the best ways to secure huge returns. Perpdexes were a narrative I uncovered last year, and we saw some big gains on projects like GMX and GNS. In 2024, I have my eyes set on the gaming sector, where we've already seen some big wins from Grapes, Fusionist, and Shrapnel. Today, I'm taking a closer look at a project that could see huge growth by bridging Web2 companies into Web3. How? By turning tokens into miniature dApps. This project taps into a few of the hot narratives on my radar, but it could be kickstarting a new narrative that could print money as we head into the bull run. Oh, and for you airdrop hunters out there, this project has a confirmed airdrop. So this is one you're going to want to farm right now. Stick around until the end to find out how. But before we get started, let me remind you that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not intended for residents of the United Kingdom. Crypto assets are classified as restricted mass market investments in the UK, meaning that they are high risk investments and are not suitable for retail investors. If you reside outside of the UK, let's get started. Bridging Web 2 into Web 3 is the key that will unlock the true potential of any crypto project. Why? Because it would see huge growth for any company that pulls it off and brings us one step closer to mass adoption. Accessing Web2 companies and markets would open up huge revenue streams. It's why so many crypto games are focusing on making the Web3 experience seamless. So projects that are tapping into this potential are ones that I keep on my radar. One project has been working on this goal for the last six years, and that project is SmartLayer. Tokens are at the heart of crypto. It's how projects raise funding. It's how they provide utility and value within their ecosystem. And it's how crypto degens like you and me can invest in projects and see huge returns. So a token's primary function is being both an asset and proof of ownership. But tokens can be much more than this. And that is what Smart Layer are all about. The idea is simple. Make tokens themselves act as miniature dApps. You can program a token so that it becomes smart. They call them executable tokens. They can program them to have business logic and programmable interfaces. That's a lot of jargon. Let me simplify it. Imagine tokens as a deed to your house. It shows you what you own and how much it's worth. Other than that, it's just a piece of paper. But an executable token is like a robot. It can show you what you own and how much it's worth, but it can also perform other tasks and even interact with other robots. This is where the utility of a smart token becomes valuable for businesses. Let's take e-commerce. These smart tokens can enhance shopping experiences through loyalty programs. In online gaming, you could interact across different games and even different platforms with a single token. And this is not limited to the crypto world. This utility can be applied to Web2 companies. Tokens having embedded utility and function completely changes the dynamic of what tokens provide businesses and individuals. Their current focus is on the gaming, loyalty and DeFi sectors. They have just introduced the Smart Layer Network, which will support EVM blockchains in managing off-chain token logic. This is at the core of what will bring Web2 businesses into the world of Web3. Smart Layer have been working with some huge names already. Tencent, Layer Zero, Polygon and Immutable. It's this type of innovation that can be absolutely huge in a bull run and attract big names. Smart Layer have been building throughout the bear market, which is a very bullish sign for me. Projects that can survive tough times are the ones that have smart and capable teams behind them. Their tech can also be implemented into NFTs. You can actually use this right now with their Smart Cat X NFT game. The NFT is quite literally the game. You can hop on into the Joy ID wallet, go onto your NFT and play it. You don't need an external dApp as everything is done on chain. And this isn't some small side gimmick. There have been over 3.5 million transactions with over 245,000 unique active wallets in just 60 days. So these numbers are really bullish, which makes me pretty hyped for another recent update. 
Smartlayer is soon releasing the public beta for their launchpad, which will be for the creation of projects with executable tokens. So that means there will be a pipeline for these projects in the coming bull run. And with that, we could see the creation of a new hot narrative in smart token projects. I've said before that getting into narratives early is one of the best ways to see those big 100x or more returns. This could kick off a new narrative in crypto right as the bull run kicks off. That is pretty hype inducing. Let me know in the comments though, do you think smart tokens could take off? But before we get ahead of ourselves, there's an airdrop to consider. That's right. They have confirmed on their Twitter that an airdrop will be taking place. If you want to get an idea on how to go about farming airdrops, check out my airdrop farming guide after this video. If you head to smartlayer.network, you will be able to farm smart pass quests. Playing Smart Cat X NFT game will get you airdrop rewards as well as any of the Smart Cat loot NFTs. These are just three confirmed ways of farming the airdrop that has come from their official Twitter account. But make sure you follow their Twitter and join the Discord because they will be releasing more information on the airdrop in the coming weeks. So there you have it guys, smart layer which could bring about a whole new range of utility with tokens and NFTs. It could genuinely change the way that games and dApps are delivered to users. And we could see a lot more Web2 companies bridge over to Web3 with the utility these executable tokens can provide. With the creation of their new launchpad, a smart token narrative could appear within crypto right at the perfect moment, the start of the last bull run. So keep an eye on their socials, don't miss out on farming the airdrop either. Be sure to check out my guide below if you want some help with how to get started. But until next time guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.